Our plan is a 100 day USA road trip. We're gonna get packed up here, head to the border, and hopefully we'll see you on the other side. Howdy, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Hey, everybody. Today's the day. We are heading on our big trip to the USA, and we're so excited, so nervous. All the emotions right now. Lots of emotions. It was like such a busy time to get packed. We've had a lot on the go. A few other things have been happening in life as well that kind of made it a bit complicated, but completely blue sky, sunny day today. We're going to get the trailer hooked up, and then we're off to the US border basically right away here. <sighs> Wish us luck. Oh, boy. here is this is my second time driving the trailer or any trailer in my life on the open road I did a little bit of practicing in the storage lot and it was about an hour and a half drive from when we picked up the trailer to take it home to our storage lot and Alicia's dad came along he's our resident trailer expert for questions and help but first time on the open road with the trailer with no assistance and our plan is a hundred day USA road trip we got lots of national parks to see lots of state parks we're going to some pretty amazing places and it's looking like it's going to be about 8400 kilometers worth of driving to just all of our campsites let alone when we unhook and we start driving to all the different viewpoints around so this is going to be like our biggest trip ever i think this year we're so excited to go down check out the usa we've wanted to do this for so long since our last border issue in our class c motorhome we used to own that's a previous series but so many good things to come as long as i can manage this trailer back us into some nice campsites. I think we're in for a pretty sweet trip here. It's been, it felt like a long day of driving. We've been driving for like three hours now so far. And we took a little lunch break and stuff and fed Chloe and changed her and all that good stuff. So we're in Osoyoos, we're at um, like a truck stop, a Husky truck stop or something right before the border. And again, we fed Chloe, got her changed. Just all the stuff ready for the border because we're expecting it to be at least a little bit of a yeah. hassle. We don't expect to get through right away because if you missed our video when we went to the border last time with our other motor home, basically we were there for three hours with just like questioning and verifying documents and all this kind of stuff. So we're kind of expecting that to happen again. If we're really lucky, it won't happen. We'll just go through, but we are expecting at least a couple hours of the border, so we wanted to go in fresh, have Chloe nice and napped and ready to go, so. And thankfully she slept really good this truck ride too. I don't she know, did. how long was that last nap? An hour and a half probably or something? Uh, just over an hour, yeah. Yeah, so she's pretty rested off, she's pretty energetic. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna just charm us through the border, aren't you? Again, we already do have all of our reservations made for our camping trip and, you know, we should have everything that we need to go to the States, but we just feel so apprehensive and nervous because of our last experience. But yeah, we have our fingers crossed. We're gonna get packed up here, head to the border, and hopefully we'll see you on the other side. Howdy, sir. Hi. How's it going? 
three. There is, correct. And you're both vaccinated? Yes, correct. A hundred days in total. We have one bottle of wine. No. No. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Have a good day. We're in the United States. Yay, Chloe! We did it. I mean, like I said, there's no reason why we shouldn't have been, but... She didn't even check any of our, like, reservations! No, they just said, where are you going? Oh. We said, we're going on our trip. And they said, awesome. They said, are you vaccinated? We said, yep. They didn't even check. They didn't check. They were so nice. I had... Okay, I had put so much effort and rightly so, like planning out our whole trip, making sure everything was reserved before I crossed the border, like just to say that it was done. And I had printed out all the confirmations, I had listed them all out day by day to like make it simple and clear for them of like what campgrounds and what dates we were going to be at and that everything was already booked and paid for and they didn't care. <laughs> so. She literally just walked into our RV to like check the fridge and cupboard, I think. She was in there for maybe a minute, minute and a half. And went, like, okay, yup, thank you. Yeah, so, <laughs> we did it. We're so happy now. We're on our way to our first RV park. We got a, um, a simple RV park at the casino in Omac, which is just like an hour down the road or something. So we're gonna pull in, celebrate. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. It's gonna be our first night in the RV too, which is, Woo! So exciting! I'm so excited! <laughs> we made it, Chloe! Are you excited? Oh, you're confused about what the camera is? Yeah, I know. home. Luke is going to check us in right now. I'm going to set up a little bit and get Chloe's bed and stuff ready because that still needs to be fixed a little bit. Whoops. Chloe's down here exploring her new home for the next hundred days which is fabulous. <laughs> She's so excited. She just keeps going back and forth and she wants to look at everything. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I just got interrupted. Luke has finished checking in and he got us dinner cooking. Well, <laughs> takeout cooking and we're gonna go pick it up later. But now he's hooking up the water so that I can de-winterize because we actually have the rig still winterized because it was still freezing temperatures when we were at home and we didn't want to risk anything breaking or anything so we're gonna de-winterize here at the RV park and then yeah we'll have running water which will be great and then I'll have to finish putting Chloe's bed up because to de-winterize we need under her bed in here that's where a hot water tank is and the bypass valve and everything like that so yeah, let's get to dewinterizing. And of course, you were just getting into trouble, huh? You little silly goose. Bad news, it looks like our water spot isn't actually working. We'll look into it tomorrow. We're gonna just kind of kick back, because good news, we got food from Loggers, the little restaurant in the casino there. So we have some takeout. We got a bison burger, which sounds like a great American first meal. And then also we have chicken tenders to share. So now Chloe can enjoy her chicken tenders. We can have the burger and then we'll probably have a bit of leftovers as well. That'll be our breakfast. And then tomorrow we have a whole day booked here so we can get the water situation sorted out, maybe move sites and also go grab groceries and all that good stuff. Cause this trip is going to be a whirlwind, but I am ready to eat after a big day of towing and border anxiety. How about you, Alicia? I'm starving and almost almost hangry. So that dinner was delicious and words cannot even describe how grateful I am to be here right now. We've got the sun setting behind the mountains. It was a high of like 11 or 12 degrees today 
and we're not expecting to get below zero anytime soon it looks like on the forecast where we're heading so i went and tried the water thing some more a crescent wrench is all it took to get it fixed in the end i'll show you what i did in a second here but we now have water we won't have to move sites tomorrow and we can also get our hot water tank running which is located underneath the bed where chloe's crib is so to activate the hot water tank we have to build the crib tonight take it all apart tomorrow to get to the hot water tank when we moved sites and then re-put the bed back together which is kind of a pain so thankfully i was able to fix it and i'll show you how to too just in case you ever come to the situation okay so what was happening is i was opening this up but i realized this mechanism here wasn't pulling the pin that the water needs to so now when i open it oh geez it's a little stiff uh, there open I had to tighten this right here, and this went into the pin. And good morning, everybody. Today, we're gonna head down to Walmart now. We came across the border with no groceries, of course. There's a Walmart right by this location here, so that's the perfect spot to come here and then go do a grocery run. I just have to take off our sway bar and weight distribution hitch here. Normally I want to take that off when we pull into campsites always, but it was so level here. We wanted to pull in and enjoy it last night. We also ended up spending like an hour putting together Chloe's playpen bed. Chloe's playpen bed it was ideally supposed to fit right in the bunk and have a little door. Then we could put her in and out without assembling a playpen, but it took a really long time in that tight space to fix and we ended up ripping a spot. So maybe we'll find a new one in Walmart. Okay, that went pretty good. The rain's still coming down, so I'll do go grab a sweater. It's definitely cold out. We'll pop up the temperature here. I'll tell Alicia to find out what it was and we'll put it up for you, but the hitch sure didn't want to let go. Maybe the time lapse caught it, maybe it didn't, but it was lifting the truck and then it dropped out. So I always stay clear, of course, but worked out well, got her out, and now put the hitch away so we don't have to worry about taking it into town. No one's gonna smack their shins on it. No one's gonna steal our expensive weight distribution hitch. For those of you that don't know, the weight distribution hitch goes in there, holds the ball like a regular hitch, but then it has arms on it that put more weight from the trailer and the tongue of the trailer onto the truck so that it gets a bit more weight balance there. And it also has a sway bar control built in to help with sway going down the road. So if you see some trailers where they go all swervy and then crash, this puts resistance on it so it won't start fish tailing as much. Makes it safer for us, safer for the family, easier on the truck, just all around better. Again, I could leave that in there and we could take it to town and I could park somewhere where no one's going to bump themselves, but take it out, put it back in, it's not a big deal. Kind of fun, I guess, part of camping, right? RVing at least. But now let's go see how Alicia and Chloe are doing and then we're going into town with a truck. We're in USA and we just have a drive vehicle. That's so much different than motorhome life. This is going to be a great year. Okay, so Walmart was a pretty successful trip there. It was a huge Walmart. We weren't really used to that. I think it's probably like a US thing having those big super stores with absolutely everything you can possibly imagine. But yeah, it was fun going around there and we got so much stuff. Oh my gosh, we spent like $250 US dollars. Um, just like filling our fridge with everything and our pantry and things like flour, sugar, just like all the basics because we basically came with nothing across the border except for a few pantry items that we had had. We didn't want to have any extra issues over the border so we literally just came with nothing. Um, I also organized the pantry today. Check that out. It's looking pretty good. I got a whole bunch of these um, containers. They're like airtight containers on Amazon and they're all different sizes. So we have all of those with like sugar uh, brown sugar, rice, things like that. I've got all my spices here, which I have a big plan for coming up, so hopefully that works out. Um, like cans of stuff, noodles, bread, peanut butter, of course, because Chloe lives on peanut butter. <laughs> kidding, but not kidding. And then down here, we have our appliances, like our coffee maker and our blenders back there, and then our coffee grinder. Those will usually like be coming out when we're set up and stuff, but they stay there for now. And then 
like fruits, snacks, Chloe's essentials are back there, and some tea. And then this is all of Chloe's snacks, Chloe's food. Of course, she eats what we eat as well, but these are just some extra, like, in a pinch, we'll give her a cookie or something like that. And then, yeah, her toys and books are back there, and socks and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that's our big pantry. And then in the very top cupboard up here, I also organized all of our pots and pans and stuff like that. And on top of all that, today we also went to AT&T and got a SIM card and everything figured out. So more on that in another video, we'll go more in depth on what we did for mobile data and cell phone usage while we're in the States because it's just a lot to go through right now and so many details and stuff, but we'll update you on that later. Yeah, we're getting ready for a huge day tomorrow. We filled the truck with gas while we were out as well because tomorrow it's about a five, five and a half hour drive on Google Maps to our next campsite. So with the trailer, it's gonna take us a lot longer than the estimated time, I imagine. Plus stopping with Chloe, we'll have to find gas on the road, which I've never actually had to fill up gas with the trailer on before. So stay tuned and see how a Class C motorhome guy like me does towing a trailer through the USA because <laughs> It's also our first reverse in campground site, so mm -hmm. we're going to have a whole lot to do, ain't we, Chloe? So yeah, we're just going to be packing up tonight, getting ready for a big travel day tomorrow, and getting Chloe a bath before we leave our water hookups here. Yeah, full hookups has been nice. but. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. I know it was a big one with our first day across yeah. the border and everything, but here's the great things to come. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.